Hello everyone, welcome to Torah Special. Today I will show you how to make a charts and graphs in RGS desktop. So let's get started. So go to the shape file in layers in table of content, click the study area, right click, open attributes, go to the section called table options, now go to the section, uh, section called create graphs. So we have a number of different types to select. Now uh, let me choose the vertical, the vertical line. So let me select vertical line. So it gives us uh, the layer or table, it gives us different layers. So let me choose my layer study area. So let me select the Y field. So go to the option called Y field, click select your required data in this case i will select as household income so in the right side of the section we have the graph graphs so let me extend it so uh, in this case it is not so visible uh, so let me change the color so go to the option called colors click this uh, option go to the custom so it is now clearly visible. If you almost change the color of this graph, you're selecting the desired required. Let me select the black color. So let me select our X field option. So let me select it as um, household per square kilometers. Let me select this. So now the graph looks kind of uh, crazy. So, so it looks kind of uh, doesn't make a sense. So to resolve this, all you have to do is go to the so section called X field option, sort by selecting none, sort by ascending. Now the graph sort looks perfect. So now let me uh, extend this. So the data already looks little noisy. So in our study area, we have compared we have compared a household income versus household per square kilometers. So from this graph, we can able to uh, mention that the household versus household uh, household income versus household per square kilometers. It indicates that a higher income has been achieved between. Uh, in a house square kilometers from 0 to 1000 square kilometers and uh, as a further the square kilo as a further the area increases the level of household income is decreases so from this graph uh, as a uh, income uh, is higher in low density areas as income gets lower in high density areas so now let me add a trend line. So let us explore the further functions like trend line. So go to the section called add. Go to the new functions. So go to the function type. So there is a various functions like average, high, low, median, moving average, RMS. So standard deviations, variance. So in this case, let me select as trend. So let me add the data source. So let me select our vertical line. Now let me change the color. So from the graph we can observe that or from the trend line we can observe that it is decreasing. As the income, incre income is higher in low density areas and uh, the income is lower in high density areas. Uh, for example, a high income uh, is achieved uh, with uh, people living in an area between 0 to 1200 square kilometers. As the people living to further to 3000 to 3200 square kilometers, the income, le income levels are being decreased. So now let me get into a next further, let's get further, go to the section, in this section, click next. 
Now let us enter our title. So let me enter the title as income versus density of area. That is uh, income versus households per, per square kilometers. So let me enter. So now let me change my y axis. Go to the left, go to the axis properties and click left. In the title, change it to as an income. So to get it to the to go to the work, x axis, click bottom. Change the household per square kilometers. So now let me click finish. Go to the section called finish. Click. Now it gives us a pop up of the graph. So let me extend it. So this is our graph for be prepared for income business household per square kilometers. So now we can do two things with this graph. Either you can able to open this graph as uh, as it is being opened, or you can do you can do another thing. Right click, so add to the layout. Now let me minimize this attribute table. So you can able to see that now the graph is being the the graph is being copied to our layout section. In this way, you can able to show a graph in the map itself. So suppose after computer uh, completing your analysis, suppose if you want to save your graph, all you have to do this is to right click and uh, export. So in this way, you can able to export your uh, graph either as PDF, PNG, JPEG, as you wish. So you can able to select the quality. So I can increase the quality. So let me uh, select the DPI. Let me enter as 100. So it is the highest quality. Uh, you can give it more DPI. Uh, in this case, I will give 100. So let me save this. Let me save as a PDF or a JPEG. Okay. So let me see the size. Okay. Let me save it. Let me save my graph. Let me enter as income, income versus income versus households per square kilometers. So let me save save so let me close this section now go to the file manager so let me show you the graph so this is our graph in this way you can able to publish your works are you going to able to convert it to a jpeg or a pdf and can share your book and show your analysis in this way let me minimize it. So, 
In this video, I have shown you how to create a maps using your data and how to add a trend line and finally shown, shown you that how to export our graph and also how to add to our layout. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like Terraspecial.